tell us what's happening right now. Guys, Greg. right now, artillery rounds. Guys, right now, we are moving back from the front. The Ukrainian unit that we were with started to take incoming artillery rounds from Russian back separatists here in the eastern part of the country. So you can see some of the other journalists and soldiers who are with us on the front lines here. And you can hear that explosion there. Let's, let's move a little quicker. We're good. Uh, we just got to keep moving here. Stay with us. Keep moving. If you guys can still hear us, uh, off to the right there, there's a lot of incoming artillery. The Russian forces. Where's Pierre? Where's Pierre? Trey, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but do you have a sense of how far you, away you, that lot? fire is originating from? Yeah, uh, this fire is just a few kilometers from where we're standing right now. And uh, just give me a second, I gotta check in with my cameraman here. The fire that we have coming in right now is being fired a, from just a few kilometers away. Russian back separatists clearly identified there were a lot of people at that position and started to hammer it pretty heavily with artillery. You heard a few seconds ago those explosions in the distance. Those were incoming rounds. That's what the Ukrainian military has been dealing with the past 48 hours. They say they are following the Minsk protocols and that it's the Russian backed forces. You hear in the distance there are more explosions that are violating this agreement. Remember, right now, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is in Munich at a security conference, and he is going to be meeting with world leaders asking for support ahead of a possible Russian invasion. President Biden yesterday at the White House, Defense Secretary Austin today in Europe have both said President Putin made up his mind. He plans to invade this country where we're at right now. Trey, are you, what's the response from Ukrainian troops that are there? They're taking incoming. Is there, are they returning fire, small arms, or likewise artillery? The, the position that we're standing in right now, they are not returning fire. But we've been talking with a number of Ukrainian troops. Let's keep moving. You hear that? Uh, we've been talking with a number of Ukrainian troops this week as we cover this story. And they are... They say returning fire within the confines of the agreement, meaning there are certain weapons they are not allowed to use. I want to give you a little bit more information, guys, about this scene. We were inside of a bunker when this artillery started coming in, talking with Ukrainian forces. The interior minister was the one here visiting troops. We were with his delegation. But as you can hear in the distance, those Russian separatists identified there were people at this location and they've started to hit it quite heavily. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I can hear that. You can hear that. Talk to me. You can hear those artillery rounds coming in. Uh, we're moving right now with Ukrainian forces. Let's keep moving. Where are you moving? Let's keep moving. To? Move. Back toward I'm listening. Back toward the, the main line of Ukrainian forces, so that our, that that trench position was out front of the main line, and now you're heading back to Ukrainian forces? Yeah, yeah. we are heading back uh, to a forward operating base where the Ukrainians are working out of. This front line has been expanding over the past 48 hours. Uh, but again, the real concern here is that one second, guys. Let's go. Move, move, move. Those rounds are super close. I can hear you. As you can see, this is absolutely incredible. This is incredibly tense. Understandably, Trey is running, trying to catch his breath. You can hear how close some of these munitions are. Trey, again, if you can hear us, what, what type of incoming are you taking? Looks like his shot is frozen as we speak. I don't know if you can still hear us. Is this the, small arms fire? These Trey, are artillery rounds. Artillery rounds. These are, these are artillery rounds being fired by Russian-backed separatists. 
It's really the only thing Are these they've been using today, but... Uh, guys, we, we'll get back to you a little bit later. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. All right. I, you know what? At, at the end of the day, Trey, your uh, Trey and our team's safety is first and foremost, and we'll continue to monitor what they're facing on the ground. But and and he's moving the whole time. God bless him for what he's doing. And then he catches his breath, trying to catch his breath, moving away from a bunker that's being targeted by Russian-backed separatists with artillery. Right now, they're not shooting back in part because they don't want to respond to that provocation, which is exactly what Putin is looking for. Uh, they're heading hopefully closer to safety, and we'll check in with Trey and make sure he's doing all right.